Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Uh, today's video is a continuation of the Comfy UI uh, playlist uh, guide and tutorials. So we're starting with uh, Control Net and we have already talked about uh, Open Pause, Depth and uh, Canny and Canny Edge Control Nets. And today, so you, you can check them out in the previous videos. And today we're going to be talking about the segmentation. So uh, in the X and Seer uh, Hugging Face page, there's no model for the segmentation, but there's a model called uh, Union SDXL 1.0. So it's this one right here. I'm going to be leaving the link for uh, their page in the description below, so make sure to check it out. So you download this into the Comfy UI Models Control Net folder. And uh, then we're going to be uh, this union model actually combines all the uh, all the all the models, all the control net models. So the segmentation, what it does is that you have this image. This is the original image that we have we are loading, and it segments it into regions. So as you can see, the sword here is in red, and this region is also in red. So it will consider this with the sword. And then the green is the forest in the background. And this region here is in yellow, this one here. And the region around the sword is in gray, as you can see here. So the resulting image here on the right uh, changed the sword, the red region, and this region here, right here, which is marked in red, as you can see. So everything else stays the same as the original image. So this is what we're going to be doing today. Uh, so let's start with the uh, workflow. The workflow is just the, the default workflow. So just press on load default here. And after you uh, press on load default, change this into 1024. So we're using SD Excel model. AGI Excel version one, it's in my coffee page if you guys want to uh, check it out. So we have the empty latent image 1024 by 1024. And then we use the apply control net to connect between the positive prompt into the conditioning and then the output conditioning of the apply control net into the positive of the K sampler. This is where the control net actually works is in the textual side of things. And uh, once we have the apply control net, the control net that we're going to be using is the union uh, pro max dot safe tensor right here, which is the same as this one. I just renamed it. And uh, you just choose it and input it into the control net. And then we have the uh, image here, the load image. So this is the image that we want to work on, the original image. We want to change the sword and this region here. You input it into the control net preprocessor. And in the control net preprocessor, you choose this is, uh, I'm going to show you how to download this node, but you go, you go all the way down and choose segment off AD, ADE to 20K. So this is the segmentation that you want to pick right here. Just pick it, you choose SD Excel here, and you pick the resolution 1024. After you do this, uh, then we have the preprocessor segmenting our image. So I took an output for the preview here. This is the output of the preprocessor. So it changed the original image into segmented areas like this. And after that, we take this image, this one here, and we put it into the convert image to mask. And when we convert it to mask, here we have options. So as you can see, I want to show you the colors here. So you have red, green, blue, alpha. So the color here that I want to change is the sword, which is in red. Unfortunately, the segment, sometimes it doesn't pick the, uh, you know, the difference between the sword and this region here. 
So it's going to be changing all the red colors in the image as a mask. So convert image to mask. And then set latent noise mask. So we input the mask into here. And we take the uh, latent image of the original image. So we encode it. And then input it as samples into the set latent noise mask here. And the output of this, I'm just previewing it here as a preview, so you don't have to do this. But we take the output latent from the set latent noise mask and we input it into the uh, K sampler here. So right there. And then the uh, K sampler, you just decode it, decode the output. And this is a custom node also available in my coffee page to organize my work. I'm going to be outputting this into a uh, segment video. And there, there are a lot of options here to uh, choose from. You can check it out. Uh, you guys, uh, and then the output is going to be displayed here from the save image, the output of the same image here. So this is the output. And let's compare, see what happened here. So this is the segment workflow from the union uh, control net because there isn't a specified segmentation uh, control net. There are other segmentation uh, control nets there. But as you can see, this is the original image. Everything here is the same except for the sword and the red region. So the red region is different here. So from this area here is different, the sword is different, and this area right here. So that changed. The rest of the image just stayed the same because we have picked the red color in the mask here. So if we pick green, for example, and let's run the workflow, I'm gonna be uh, putting the workflow in the description also. So you can download this workflow and make sure to subscribe for future videos because we're going to be continuing our journey and learning uh, all about Comfy UI. It's a really powerful software, free to use, open source. So thank you for all the developers that work on Comfy UI. I bet they have spent a lot of time making it. So. Shout out to all the Comfy UI developers and custom node creators as well so that make this all possible. So as you can see, uh, we're generating now and we, we picked the color green instead of red. So what this will do is change the green region here and keep everything else the same. So we're going to see the results here. Sword is going to stay the same as this one. And then this region is going to change. I think it's almost done there. Yes, almost done. There we go. So saving and this is the resulting image. As you can see, let's check it out here. So as you can see here, the sword is exactly the same. It didn't change. And also this region didn't change. It's also the same. And also this small region here didn't change. And then the, actually this region changed. Oh, I don't know why. <laughs> oh yeah, it's in the green area. It's in the green area right there. So this whole green area around the sword changed. As you can see, it's different from uh, this area here. So if we pick another color, that's going to change another section of the segmentation. So you can easily play with it and uh, control which region you want to change in your image. It's uh, technically like in painting, but uh, in a segmented way. So there's definitely a use case for it. Uh, 
So this is all for this video. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe for the future videos on Comfy UI. Thank you.